Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome back to our channel. Which Been channel is this? Is this Woody's Box? This is Woody's Box. Oh, this yeah. is Woody's Box. Sorry. Kelly's got her own channel I called do. Kellyanne. Yeah. Uh, subscribe to that if you can. Oh. <laughs> Um, but anyway, this is our Woody's Box. This yeah. is our couple's channel. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, I haven't actually posted anything on our Woody's Box Instagram, but we actually spent last weekend in Disneyland Paris. Which was the best time. We had such a lovely time. So we basically went with both of our mums for Russ's 30th birthday and we stayed at um, Hotel New York, which is obviously now been rethemed to the Art of Marvel. The Art of Marvel, which is why Russ has got his Marvel to <laughs> on. Um, we went there for, we stayed Friday night and Saturday night, we come back late Sunday, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Um, but we have got like a little mini vlog which we're going to put up at some point, but we thought, before we start using everything that we bought, um, we thought it'd be worth filming the, the whole now. So I've been keeping it in this bag. So it's we a cool don't, bag. So we don't use anything yet. But I wanted to say uh, one thing. Uh, Kelly mentioned there is a mini vlog coming. And the reason why there's a mini vlog coming, I'm not going to let you forget. Kelly promised that she was going to pack the camera. And I the did. memory cards. She said she'll sort it. Did I she pack the camera? Ready. I did she pack the memory cards? No. No. And so the reason how we actually remembered was we were sitting in the car on the way to the airport and your mum said something like, Oh, are we filming this holiday and I was just like, I knew I forgot something. I could honestly I had such a busy morning I completely forgot to put the camera in my hand luggage. So um we just filmed loads of bits and pieces on our phone, didn't yes, we? Yes, so, so it'll be like a montage roll. Um, and yeah. we've also got a room tour video as well coming. Yeah, we do, yeah, we do uh, that as well. Yeah. I'll edit that one. Yeah. You can edit well. this one. So okay, cool. um the room tour video is I, I don't know the exact title, I need to find out the title of the room we stayed in. But you'll put that in the But in yeah, the in video. the description. Yeah. But what a room. Yeah, it was We'll save that for the video because, yeah. yeah, it was really, really cool. But yeah, so, let's get into this. our haul. I think we should start with this bag. I think so as well. So this bag was one of the kind of special promo offers and I really we'll like this. We'll show you a little bit of close up so you can kind of see. It's got the Disneyland Paris, um, I guess, what, what would you call it, icons. Yeah. Uh, so it's two for uh, studios, two for Disneyland Paris uh, Park, sorry, Disneyland Park. So you've got the emblem of the castle, Space Mountain, probably show the camera. Oh god. <laughs> so you got Space Mountain, I'll call it. Yeah, Space Mountain and the castle. And on the other side, you've got the Eiffel Tower, which Disneyland Paris still has, and the Tower of Terror, which and is really cool. And then at the bottom, it just says, I hope that we never lose sight of one thing. It was all started with a mouse, Walt Disney. So I can't, look, I can't remember how much this bag was. It was 10 euros. Was it 10 euros? Yeah, and it's got a zip as well. So actually, we were well chocked with this bag. We thought yeah. it would be a gym bag. And the reason why we bought this bag, though, is because we only had small hand luggage of us. And our mum's bought so much. It was um, actually so funny how much our mum's shop yeah it, wasn't it they literally wanted to spend all of their money and just like, it, was it was lovely to it, see, it was like. the first time your mum's been to Disneyland Paris almost 20 years probably. yeah and first time my mum's been to Disney for four four I think it was yeah, yeah and we so. both got mums who are very much into Disney parks yeah. so it was quite cute actually it we, was really we was like the parents looking after it them was, do you know what yeah. I mean we was the ones do you want to do this do you want to do that and um they yeah, just loved it. They were so well. happy, weren't they? It was, it was, but that's a whole other thing. But anyway, yeah. that's why we bought another bag because we had to increase they, our luggage capacity. They bought so much that then we had to buy another bag. Then they had to both buy another bag. So it so, all kind of like stemmed from that, really. Didn't with EasyJet, we paid for our holdalls, the we larger did, holdalls, yeah. to go into um, the into cabin luggage, not yeah. not below. Um, but you also allowed a bag to put underneath. Um, underneath the chair in front of you, yeah. and you girls all brought like nice little handbags and stuff, which all like crossbody bags, which obviously don't hold anything. At all. So I came up with the idea with the girls. I had the rucksack. Yeah. Uh, I said to the girls, "Why don't you buy bags similar to this?" They bought their own they ones. They bought rucksacks actually. Like, yeah. Pack a Mac rucksacks, which are really they were quite really okay. cool. Yeah. And uh, just filled them up, and then was able to. So we saved them luggage. Yeah. Anyway, right. Let's get rest. started. So we're going to start off with. I'm going to start with this. Oh, one so. of the, sorry, one other thing as well. We were there just the week before the 30th anniversary, um, so we saw some of the loading 30th anniversary stuff. Yeah, the pre anniversary. The pre, but we are kind of a little bit planning to do another little spontaneous trip, aren't we? Maybe. We'll Possibly. see. Possibly. So if we do, then we'll definitely get some 30th stuff, won't we? Yes. But anyway, right. Let's let's show what we got. So I'm going to show this one first. 
Uh, these are just like a nice cute little box of chocolates and the ring light behind us is struggling but you should be able to see it here. Yeah. So it's just a box of chocolate, it's got a row dark, row milk and a row of white chocolate. Um, all with kind of prints. I like those, I think they look really cute. Yeah, all with prints of like Mickey, the castle. Um, so they, I actually bought these for work. You did, uh, yeah. Uh, I told everyone this week I was going to bring it in, but Kelly kept saying no, I want to no, film it. No, I said to him, Ross, if we don't film this video, we're never going to. So I'm sorry, it's got to stay, to stay in the bag until we film. Uh, does it have to price it, it on it here? It was 13 euros. Yes, 13 Which actually, euros. Which actually, I don't think is that bad. No. So, so that. yeah, that was the first one of, one of the bits I picked up. Oh, some of these things are gifts as well, actually, not yes. just for work. So these are actually my favourite Disneyland Paris cookies, and they're like Mickey shaped with like Smarties, and I'm like a big Smarties fan. Um, so I grabbed one of these boxes. I ended up getting more as well. These were four ninety nine euros. Um, I love these. These mm. are like a real like old school like Disney thing, and we used to buy them when we had annual passes as well. So um, yeah, I had to get some cookies because it kind of felt like we needed to. Okay, yeah, right. These are super exciting. Right. Actually, I was uh, against getting these here because we're hoping to move house, uh, but my mother was very kind. And oh, the other one's here. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Right. Um, and bought Kelly two of these, which Kelly absolutely loved. So we kept going around like all the shops and stuff, and they did loads of really lovely home stuff. And like home stuff is like our thing. Like we love like Disney home things, especially things that like really like subtle Disney as well. Like you wouldn't know it's there unless she was like a Disney fan. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they've got this collection on Shop Disney. I've actually got the mug already, but I hadn't seen these goblets on Shop Disney. And I did look on the US website and the UK website when we was there and they weren't on the website. Um, and I wasn't gonna get them because obviously getting them home is like a bit tricky, but Ross's mum very kindly got me them. She got me two of these. It's probably gonna really struggle. Yeah, oh, that's better. So it's actually got like little Mickeys here with little like love hearts and stuff, and they're like the most gorgeous like goblet glasses. So we've got two of these, like one each for us. Um, I was going to keep them for the new house, but actually I want to start using yeah. them because okay. I'm very much in the opinion, and I sometimes forget this, that every day is a special occasion, and like I don't want to keep things for best and then like never Very use them. So yeah, we got these two. These were actually eight euros each, which is pretty well priced I think mm -hmm. um, and we got them home in one piece so well chuffed about that. I was conscious of you waving them around yeah. like that. <laughs> that was when I was going to probably smash them. Right so we also got another box of biscuits again some of these are like going to be given as gifts and stuff. These were, is it going to focus? These were another pack of biscuits. Yeah it's all good. Um, and these, I think these look really nice actually. These again I think were four euros 99. I'm pretty sure they were because they were the same price as those ones. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so we grabbed those ones as well. Um, the next thing isn't actually something we bought, but this was something that was in our hotel room. Yeah. And uh, I think it's okay to take, and I surely it is. I'm sure it is, yeah. And it's just a little notepad, as you can see, but it's from uh, the Hotel New York Art of Marvel. Which I thought was really cool. It's got like the superhero artwork printed behind it. And yeah, just a cute little freebie which we've taken from the hotel. And um, yeah, really appreciate that. It was quite funny actually because our mum's both got one in their room. They shared a room. And um, apparently they opened it up and there was like loads of drawings Somebody's in it. Somebody's already drawn They were really gutted because they wanted to take it home. But we was quite lucky that our one was like a fresh one. So... Um, yeah, this feels like it's just going to be a biscuit haul. There's another <laughs> pack of biscuits. These so are a different type of biscuits. This one, to be honest, <laughs> must be the last of this artwork. So, um, for years, uh, Disneyland Paris um, continued to have just kind of characters actually in Paris. And probably on our last three or four trips, this was like the main kind of print and artwork that yeah, they had it was, everywhere. Yeah, it was but, on like tins and everything. Like yeah, that. but I must say, this was the only thing I saw with that artwork in Paris or in Disneyland Paris for once. Mm. Um, so it's quite nice that they're finally changing it up a little bit because sometimes Disneyland Paris can be a little bit slow to change their merch. It can be a bit samey as well sometimes. Yeah. I think we find that, don't we? And that, there's not a lot of changes. But this time I felt like there was new stuff. Yeah, it's the first thing. time we've been there in what, three years, yeah, four so years. So, should, so it for should us, be new stuff. It really. should be new stuff. Yeah. But yeah, this was the, once again, more just chocolate biscuits, 4 99 again. and. Uh, it's probably the last, one of the very last that we see of that kind of print of the characters in Paris. Right, I'm going to go into the bag now. Right, this was another thing that Russ's mum actually very kindly got me. She saw them and I was like, oh, I'm not going to get them. I'm not I'm probably not going to get that much time to wear them. But 
I kept thinking about it and I thought, you know what? I'm only gonna be a bride this year, hopefully. <laughs> and I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, take Ross's mum's offer because she really wanted to buy me this, um, the like wife, Mickey ear, like mini the ears, veils. the veil one. And I did wear them on one of the days, didn't I? And then I packed them in my suitcase to come home because I didn't want to get anything down them. But I thought I could take these to my hen digs, my hen digs at the end of this month, and take them on a honeymoon. Mm -hmm. And if we go back to Disneyland Paris in between, then I'm definitely going to wear them there. So I'm just going to lap it up for the entire year. But yeah, I thought these were so lovely. They've got like all little flowers and stuff in on the top of the bow. And I think these were 27. 99 euros um i saw quite a few people in them actually but uh, yeah i just thought they're really cute and they were like i wouldn't you so <laughs> i thought i've got years to get them this is the time to get them so yeah grabbed those uh, the next item um for all those who've been following our channel for a while will know that kelly's favorite character is donald duck he is indeed and he had this really cool donald duck what do you call it spatula yeah that's um, a spatula. yeah oh no maybe Oh, I can't remember the actual name for it. Well, it looks like, it's like a flipper, isn't it? Well, it yeah. I call it a flipper. <laughs> uh, what's a spatula? The thing that you. What I bake cookies with. Well, we've I got. I don't know what that one's called. I'm probably going to be like. What a it is, cooking it's tool. Something. Yeah. Um, which is Donald's footprint, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah. And then you've got this cool Donald Duck kind of artwork. You just cover your face with the, your hand. There you go. Start. There it is. So, yeah, that's really cool. I uh, don't know what the price is on this. Uh, this was seven euros ninety nine okay. because they also had another one. They had um, like the thing that picks up soup, um, but I didn't get that because I've already got one of those. But I just wanted something that had Donald on it, and it was really lovely actually because my mum saw Donald as well. And the reason that I loved began my love of Donald is because my granddad was called Donald, who who was my mum's dad. So she got to see Donald as well, so it was lovely and I just felt like getting something that had Donald on it. And I hadn't seen any of this anywhere and I really like this collection. They also did a plate which my mum got. I didn't get it, but my mum mm. got it. Um, but yeah, that was really nice, that collection. I really like that. So right, the next thing we got um, is for, we're going to call it a secret project at the moment because we don't really, because we're not, uh, some of our friends and family watch this. Um, and this is something that we are actually bought for a certain use, yeah, which is quite secretive at the moment. It's a bit bent, this one actually. Yeah. Um, and we got this kind of, it's a fridge magnet. I'll put it up here. Go on, it might be. It's a bit there overexposed with the light behind Sorry, it. Sorry, I did it a bit too bright. Uh, but that is the Sleeping Beauty's Castle, the Disneyland Paris one. And it's a fridge magnet. It is. Um, yeah. And these were, I believe, five ninety nine. I thought that was really like a really good price. Yeah. And to match it, complement it. We have the Tower of Terror. Which, by the way, really is such, cool. a, such a find because you can't find many things like Tower, Tower of Terror, Terror related online. Yeah. So. Of, well, no, there is a lot of Tower of Terror stuff, but not of the actual tower. A lot yeah. Of the, the branding, you can get the keys and that yeah. stuff like that. So we've actually got a secret project which hopefully will show you in future what these are for. Um, so we're not actually going to say too much, but. Hopefully we get to keep these in good shape. Yeah, the five, um, five. This one was five ninety nine euros. I was at five ninety nine. Yeah, that's five ninety nine as well. What did I say? Did I say four? I don't know. I thought I said five. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. So I that's think cool. they're so cute. And they're like quite like nineties looking, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Like they look quite retro. I wish we could have been able to get all the big ones, but these are the only ones we saw. Oh. So, oh no. And it wasn't the only fr fridge magnet we bought. Um, we also got this one. Which once again has all the Disneyland Paris Park icons got on focus. There you go, sorry, it's a little bit overexposed again. So you see Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, uh, the Castle, Eiffel Tower, Tower of Terror, and obviously Mickey with the Disneyland Paris logo on it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's super cool. Um, and yeah, that, that one we probably will use as a fridge magnet, but yeah. the others have got, the other two have got a special use. But this was just something for. <sighs> the things that I love about Disneyland Paris as well, Disney World are kind of very much pushing to that new style oh, i mean i say this kind of new style animation mickey, mickey. on everything yeah which uh, obviously just got a new style animation mini which is cool it's not my thing but disneyland paris still is kind of stuck in the 90s and i like that i do as well because um, we we grew up going to disney didn't we yeah disneyland paris so. so like they still got the retro shops and stuff so the, the mickey that's kind of on this it just reminds me of like the kind of night Mickey we all grew up with in the 90s, not going to focus, yeah. but yeah, so but yeah, it's really cool. 
So the next thing is actually something from one of my nephews who loves gingerbread. So obviously we had to get something little for them each, but they're also going to Disney soon as well. So kind of don't want to take the thing away from them. So when they go, they can get whatever they want to get. Um, but one of my oldest, well, my oldest nephew loves gingerbread. So I actually got this in Disney Village. They had loads of, they're kind of like Christmas market stores, aren't they? Yes. Still, but they're lovely. Like they do like waffles and crepes and loads of kind of different stuff and this was five euros and I, he just uh, he's at an age where he doesn't love disney stuff so he's kind of grown out of it a little bit so food things are like perfect for him really so we grabbed that for him um next thing oh, on, i'll let you talk about this, this is actually for my little nephew so i've got him a bag each of these like golden coins i think these were these weren't expensive uh i think oh they're three euros each so i grabbed him one of those each and then my little nephew is obsessed with toy story at the moment and i saw this really cute cup yeah. there we go yeah it's just a little plastic cup that's got buzz lightyear on it so yeah grab that for him that was six euros um so yeah they've got some they've got like two things each so i'm holding open. up now. i've just kept my hand held up now i'll time it for our dinner's just gone off on our alexa right i'm back so right so sorry we just had to sort dinner out do you want to show this bit <laughs> yes so at the moment i'm actually doing um a scrapbook for every month of the year and i bought myself an instax camera for my birthday so i saw this and this was two euros in the gift like in one of the the shops basically and it's just me uh donald and daisy on the teacups and i just thought this so, would look it looks like a polaroid picture as yeah well, it looks it? like a polaroid picture and i thought it looked really cute in my scrapbook so um it's actually a card they did like loads of other ones like this as well do you know what in hindsight i actually wish i would have got like loads of these for um birthday cards and stuff but mm. i didn't but um yeah so we've got that as well um next thing i want to show you is a pin uh, we don't collect a lot of pins, but one thing we do like is pins for special occasions in Disney parks and also pins for every hotel we stay in as like a yes. little memento. Um, so we've been blessed to stay in plenty of the Disney hotels and we've only got one more hotel to stay in at Disneyland yeah. Paris now, which is the Hotel Santa Fe. Yeah. So, but for every hotel we've gone to, we've got a pin. And this one is, if it focus, there the Hotel go. New York one. I so think that's a really cool pin. They actually had two pins. They had a bigger one as well, uh, which the bigger one was really cool. It actually had the real logo for uh, the Hotel New York in the pin. Oh, okay. um, But we got this one because it's about the same size as all our other Disney Hotel pins. Excuse me. So, yeah, so really like that. Um, it was pricey this night, 11 euros for pin, but pins are expensive, so yeah, uh, yeah so that's a really cool one for us, and uh, that goes on to the collection. It does, yeah, which we, when we move, we're probably going to have like some kind of like Display really lovely Disney wall of all like our travels and stuff, and so that'd be nice to put that on there, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, so the next thing I actually picked up from, I think I got this from the shops in Frontierland, and it is the Minnie and Mickey like wedding pens. So these ones again, I, uh, I think these have got the price on. They were six euros. This one's got like all confetti and stuff down it. And this one's just got like a bow tie. Um, but again, I thought we could use these for wedding planning. So we're actually wedding planning after this video. So I'm gonna keep these out actually. So, um, but yeah, again, just in the theme of like getting married this year, I thought it'd yeah. be nice to keep these. So yeah, grabbed those as well. Uh, was this a gift again from yeah, your mum? Yeah, your mum grabbed that. So our mum bought us and this is going to be really hard to pick up, I think. It's a bottle opener. There you go. Yeah. It's a chrome Mickey bottle opener. I'll tell you what, it's a heavy bit of kit. It is heavy, yeah. <laughs> it is. If, yeah, if you drop this on your toe, you would feel it. Yeah. I can tell you that now. Uh, but it's really cool. Once again, it's that kind of subtle... Well, I say subtle, it's not so subtle, but subtle Disney uh, home appliance that we now have. Uh, this was... Eight euros. Eight euros, yeah. or seven ninety nine really. But yeah, so not too bad. And uh, so... Quite cute, and the good thing is it's a small bottle opener as well, so obviously sometimes you get really big bottle yeah. openers, and this one's just a nice little one fit and draw. I think your mum got herself one of those as well, actually. Mm. So, yeah. Right, so the next thing is, again, some of these bits and pieces I'm going to be giving as gifts. This is actually definitely for my friend Alice. Um, this was, again, it probably doesn't look great. It's gone through 
like traveling and stuff but this was a chocolate mickey on a stick this i think was like three euros or something four euros it was and they also did like pink ones of mini that was just one thing that i grabbed for alice also this was also for alice i'm sorry take them out your hand these were five euros these are just literally some i block ross's face out like that um these are literally just some sour sweets that i got for alice as well alice is one of my bridesmaids and one of my best friends who is a massive disney fan as well she also you may have seen her on other vlogs um, but yeah, anyway, so she's a big Disney fan as well. She so was on a Disney cruise with us was. on their staycation, uh, but we spent a lot of time with her and her mum on the cruise, which yeah, was awesome. Yeah, we so. did. So they're just like a couple of little bits to give to her when I see her next. Right, the next thing is probably my favourite purchase that I made myself on the trip. And it might have been Disney parks for years, but it's the first time I've seen it, especially mm. in Disneyland Paris. And I'm just going to get out. It's quite big, so I might need Kelly to help me. Okay, I can be your glamour assistant. And this... And this was only seven euros on but I thought you. the price of this was really decent actually. I bought two of these and we've got to be very delicate because it's... We've already had this out and managed to get it back in its packaging already haven't we? Yes. There you go. Right. So this is a really colourful, fun map. I'm not... Are you still is there? It? Yeah, it's still focused. Are they still there? Yeah. Of Disneyland Paris. And we'll zoom in. I'll tell you what, I'll take the camera in a second. Oh. There we go. Right. <laughs> so very weird. It is flattening. So this is recall once again, it's a little bit 90s, which I love it. Obviously, Disneyland Paris opened up in 1992. Uh, but it's a really cool to, um, illustrated map of Disneyland Park. So obviously, you've got Space Mountain and Star Tours. You've got this small world. You've got all Fantasyland, the castle. You've got Frontierland, Big Thunder Mountain, Phantom Manor. Indiana Jones up there. So yeah, it's just a really, really, really cool, fun map. You've got the, the kind of Park Disneyland logo down there and all around the edge, it's got all the, the characters. Once again, almost like 90s feel with the, the electric. So what's the gym? <laughs> this is hurting me a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll put that down, but I, I just, okay. it was just a really cool illustrated map. I bought two, we're gonna frame one of them and one of them we're actually gonna use somewhere in our wedding. So. Yes. Really cool, but um, that is everything. Oh, and the last thing which I've got in my in my hand, which actually we did pinch from the hotel. Right, this is, you're not going to see the logo. I think we're we're fighting a losing battle here, but it's the uh, Disney. Yeah. Um, sorry, Hotel New York Art Marvel pen, which came with it. Came with the notepad, so we pinched that. Oh, we it's pinched quite it. Heavy, oh, we should give it a gift. I think it's a gift. I think it's a gift. I think it's a gift. <laughs> So, so yeah we got some really lovely things obviously we were restricted by our suitcases um, and things and bits and pieces like that but i still feel like we got some <gasps> no, really nice there's things there's one more thing this was a spontaneous I buy i forgot that as well that was like one of our favorite this is actually our last everything. purchase and a bit of a spontaneous so on the last on the last day our mums were getting a bit tired so we spent the last two or three hours in this in one of the two bars in hotel new york and uh, me, it was a lovely day, blue skies, and me and Kel wanted to go have a walk around the lake uh, by Disney Village, name escapes me. Uh, and we popped into Squire Lodge, which is kind of our... Uh, we love Squire Lodge. One of our favourite hotels. Yeah. Um, more just because of the ambience than the rooms, but we just loved the feel of that hotel. Uh, so we popped in there, look at their shop, and then we went to Newport Bay, which is across the lake, and yeah. we found this, which is the only place where we actually saw this. We didn't see this anyway, yeah, oh, so there we go. We haven't got much of these statues, and we haven't got many places to put them, but we couldn't resist this one. It's chipping down my favorite park characters, and um, the most important thing is in they're in the Disneyland Paris popcorn bucket. I don't know if I'll be able to get any closer, so you can actually, oh, there we go. Yeah. Ooh, oh, let me get you, in. let me I'm get you out of it. it. Go on, focus on the popcorn. There, there we, we go. So it's the Disneyland Paris uh, popcorn buckets, um, which is really cool and really special for me and Kel because uh, we love Disneyland Paris's popcorn. We do. We told um, my mum all about it before we went, and we was like, we've ha we have to get the popcorn, didn't we? And we Paris. we all like thoroughly enjoyed all of the popcorn. It was so nice. It, I to this day, when people ask me. Um, I'll be really quick. So when people keep asking me, like, what's better, Disney World or Disneyland Paris, I can never give a direct answer. So I always walk Disneyland Paris to do this better, Disney yeah. World do that better. Um, and we all know Disney World, in my opinion, shall I say, actually, and I think most people will concur, this has the better food options mm. across board. However, the one thing Disneyland Paris has 
on Walt Disney World, and I will have no argument with this at all, is the popcorn yeah, is phenomenal. the popcorn um, is amazing. In America, I, from our experience, we find it really hard to find sweet popcorn. Um, most of the popcorns are either buttered or salted. Yeah, um, or the ones in packages are like funny flavours, and we just yeah. we just love hot sweet popcorn. Proper don't sweet we? popcorn. Yeah. Uh, proper like kind of European, I guess, is yeah. sweet popcorn. So yeah, so Disneyland Paris is cool. So this statue just brought a little smile to our face. Yeah, it's um, twenty four ninety nine. So yeah. yeah. It was just I thought we can put it somewhere in our kitchen actually. Have, have no, yeah, somewhere in the kitchen, maybe wait near where we keep our snacks. Um, just a cute it's little cute. reminder like of one nice. of our favourite things. So it's super nineties as well, I think. Yeah. Which, as you may pick up, we like. We like, so. we like the nineties. Yeah. But that should be it because we got to eat dinner. Um, Hello, this is just Kelly editing here, just going to add this in. Um, something else we completely forgot about that we bought was actually the Hotel New York Room Spray. This, I believe, was 60 euros. Excuse me, I'm in my pyjamas. This was, I think, 60 euros, so it was quite pricey. But the smell of the hotel when you walk in is absolutely beautiful. It kind of smells, in a weird way, like a salty... <laughs> kind of like spa smell i would probably say and um yeah this was so lovely and it kind of reminds us of the hard rock a little bit of the hard rock smell in florida so yeah that was another thing we bought as well we treated ourselves to it and luckily we could fit it in our suit in our hand luggage because it was 100 mil um again it was quite pricey but we had a bit of money left over from the end of the holiday so we thought we'd treat ourselves so yeah this currently lives in our front room <laughs> but when we move house one day whatever that is we're going to keep this by the front door so when you walk in you can smell it but um yeah this was just another thing as well that we that we grabbed and we've rambled on for far too long yeah but thank you so much for watching i've really enjoyed filming this video me I'm too forward. we've got some other disney um trips coming up this year as well we've got our honeymoon and stuff as well so i'm sure there'll be some more whole videos from that i'm pretty certain that's probably gonna, exactly. we're, there's gonna be lots of film there so um, so um but yeah, yeah we've got it, some lovely bits so there's at least two more videos coming out from our uh disneyland paris trip it's probably going to be a montage vlog yeah i guess you would call it All like that best bits, I'd point say. to shoot yeah and um also a room tour of the fantastic room we stayed in uh courtesy of our mothers which is very kind of them um and we're very blessed yeah. and uh yeah that that is that is all she wrote, I think. Yeah, and right. So, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully, we'll see you really, really soon. See you real soon. For another video. Cheerio. Bye.